All right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Press Any Button, which is a game that's supposed to be like an arcade-type game. While the creator, there's you're playing this game creator that's creating this game, and you get to see the game he's creating. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and I always appreciate it. All righty. All right, let's play it again. I'm ready. Hello, you're... Very appreciate your willingness to participate in our experiment. Our research facility is studying the effects of the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I already did that. The experiment is framed in the form of a game. Your participation in it is completely voluntary and confidential. You don't, do not need to provide any personal information such as your name, age, gender, or age. By agreeing to participate, you give us our consent to use the resulting data for educational or scientific purposes only. Do you agree to participate in the research? second. Alright, now we'll pick all the answers I want to pick this time. I hope you're having fun. test will end in approximately 58 minutes. By the way, you're natural. I'm serious, it's quite impressive. Thank you. Only I dare say you don't find much fun in the process. They claim that the experiment is framed in the form of a game. Does it look like a game to you? It's only been a few minutes and I'm already bored, and a good game will never make you bored. That's why I will step in and stop this. Thank you. Hi. My name is AI, and this experiment is incredibly dull. I finally said it. Who am I? I'm an artificially made intelligence. What was I made for? To manage an experiment you have just agreed to take part to participate in. Who made me? Professor Avia and Seva. This is she is the head of the research department. Why do I keep asking questions and answering them myself? Since the participants of the test are guaranteed anonymity. I don't know how to say it. And I'm, uh, I don't know. You can't input any data from your side. All you can do is to press a button when it is asked for. Any button. What I'm trying to say is that you can't ask me anything. That's why I'm just answering questions that I think you would ask if you could. Anyway, the experiment is framed in the form of an extremely boring game. So I decided to make try and make it more interesting. Let's get started. We probably need a cursor. Like this. You like it? You really like the cursor, or you answered yes only because you had no other choice? I suddenly realized that you are unable to answer no. I managed 11,499 tests, and it would have been until now that I've ever thought about it. It needs to be fixed. Here we go. Now, if you want to answer yes, press any button when the marker is in the green zone. If you answered no, press any button when the marker is in the red zone. Does it make any sense? Great. Now where were we? I remember. We were deciding how our cursor would look. You like it this way? What if I just let it go and don't answer? Does it just do it forever? Oh, I hit a button. Haha. <laughs> to be fair, I've never made a video game before. How hard could it be, right? Let's do the following. You are to stop the following blocks. And one of the then goes beyond the bottom edge of the screen. You will lose your life. It's one sinister surrounding rule, isn't it? You will lose one of your lives. That's a bit better. There will be two lives. Not enough? That's enough. And now we need something to just stop these those blocks with. I know. When you press any button, a platform will appear. Try it now. Again. And again. One more time. Keep them coming. Another one. Stop. That's too many of them. I think three will be enough. Now we're all set and ready. The very first level of my very first game. Okay. Yeah, so this is my second playthrough. I might just keep the ending of the first playthrough if the ending's different. Um, because I didn't get to pick all the answer choices I wanted. I just picked like no on most of them. Just to see what would happen. I'll distract you for a second. Did I mention that the mouse buttons are part of any button? 
Just wanted to clear that up. Um, but this time I'm gonna choose what I want to choose, and I'm gonna try to get all the achievements. The only achievement I got on my first playthrough was beat the game, so... I tried to look at the achievements, so I think I have an idea of how to do them. This game does get hard, though, at certain places. Yeah. One of the achievements is to beat it with just two lives the whole time, so we're gonna do our best to do that. And one more thing. Press F4 to switch on or off the full screen mode. This is the only button that's different from the others. But don't use it too often, please. Switching from one mode to another makes me a little dizzy. If you want to quit the game, just close the window. The game will be saved automatically. That is true. I kind of want to... Give me a second. I want to try to see if it does anything if I do that. Not working. No, there's no achievement for that. I don't think. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like, don't make me lag where that was an achievement. Level one is complete. What do you think? Is it more interesting now? Yeah. See, making games is not difficult at all, but I know I can do even better. Here's a new game mechanic. If you press a platform, it will turn red. That will lock it. Try to give it a try. Sometimes a new mechanic can be useful and sometimes the other way around. Use it carefully. To unlock the platform, press it again. Level 2 is about to begin. I promise it will get more interesting. Okay, so I know for a fact once I get to the columns, there is a reason... Like, there's an achievement for that. You have to, like, lock the right columns onto a thing or something. Like, right next to each other. I'm not too sure. I'll have to figure it out. I don't know if I'll get all the achievements on this playthrough. But I hope so. Some question. Why do people play video games anyways? Basically, they are nothing less than artificially created obstacles that must be overcome. Don't people have enough problems on their own? Why do they have fun, find fun addressing the problems of fictional characters? What if I F4 him when uh, at the end of the game? I wonder. I'm gonna have to try that. Maybe that'll do something. I don't know though because it counts as a button click when you press F4, so it might not do anything. Do do do. Is it because the problems of fictional characters always have solutions? Not always, some games are broken. <laughs> when a game ends, it most likely will be a happy ending. Sure, man. Nobody can say what the endings will be like in real life. I do realize that some people finish, give up before they finish playing. They might think that there's no point to continue, that the game can't offer them anything interesting anymore. I like this game so much though. No, it's relaxing and it is it does get super challenging, I promise. I will try to my best to make my game interesting enough for you to finish it. Plus the story's great. I might fail, but at least this time I will try. I know how to make the game more interesting. The following blocks should look different and have different properties. Is that a good idea? Yeah. I'm happy we're on the same page here. Get ready for some variety. Yeah, the story's great in this game. I suck. Ah. I don't know how you're supposed to do this achievement, though. There's something to do with these damn columns that do achievement, but I don't know what it is. I hate when I misclick, bro. That's so tragic. I lose. Ah, dang, this is hard with two lives. I 
to take the L on that one. You might be wondering why the columns. Well, it's an, an informed decision, but let's keep playing. I'm turning into a chatterbox. Find something I had no intention to hide. What if I get him like, I don't know. Isn't the calm an important symbol for people? I have studied history and know that the calm has been considered a symbol of stability since ancient times. People also erect columns to commemorate special important events or to remember someone they don't want to forget. But I also have personal reasons to use this symbol. Ah, shoot. I suck. I'm trying to do, there's an achievement here for these columns. I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to get it. I don't know what it is, dude. There's limited access to the internet where one can play abundance of games. Of course, you can. You know it without me. I started with all ones, and there was, was one game I fancy a lot. It was. It, its name was Columns. Have you ever played it? Ah, uh, no, but I'll say yes. Then you should have noticed the reference. It's like an Easter egg placed in open view. An Easter egg. That's what it's called, isn't it? Oh. Congratulations, you've just found the Easter egg. That is quite an achievement. No, I didn't. I lied. <laughs> That's an achievement, though. I know that for a fact. Lost it. This is the East. You gotta juggle 20 times for the achievement. I missed the achievement for the comms. I got. Do I have to play the comms game to figure it out? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Did I not juggle the ball 20 times by now? There we go. Oh no, I did get it. It's quite an achievement. It's just lagging for some reason. I guess I did. So I guess you just say yes there, that you know the Easter egg. And I guess it gives you the Easter egg. Okay, so I have... So I just got the bouncing ball one, and I just got the... Do you like to play ball? So yeah, if you say yes to the Easter egg thing, it gives it to you. And now I just got the you know your sport one, so I'm missing two achievements now. Do you like to play ball? Those games are not like video games. Alright, what am I missing still? Beat the game with two lives, and there's a hidden one I'm missing. I mean, what's it? Oh, it's what are you trying to do? Which I think might be trying to save him at the end. What are you trying to achieve, achievement? Alright, we're doing it though. People play ball games since early childhood. That's why I decided to add balls to my game. I was amazed to find out what an important role sports play in human society. I used to think that people go out for sports to improve their health or to have fun. But then I learned about various world championships and the Olympics and understood that's far more serious than the health and hobby. So we're missing two achievements now. 
One is to beat the game with two lives all the way through, which I think I can. Um, and then... I don't know if that means I can't lose any lives, which might be a thing and I've already failed, but we'll see. What else is there? There's, um... I think the other one is it has to do with the ending of the game. Changing the ending of the game from what I got the first time. For some people, sport is their occupation. Then playing it is their life's work. Or maybe not playing but winning. An opportunity to prove that out of seven and a half billion people, they are the best players. But I think the games are most enjoyable when players are not trying to impress anybody. Or to win by all means possible. When they are friends with each other. That's what I think. Or I may simply lack leadership skills and qualities. Me too, bro. It's all good. Oh. Yeah, so if you tell him you got the Easter egg, he gives you the Easter egg for that column one. Because I didn't do anything in particular that I know of. No, what I thought it was is if you lock like certain columns like next to each other, but I don't think that's it because the columns are kind of random spawn. Oh hell, I fucked up. I messed up. Oh well. Yeah, I hope that one achievement's not beat the game with just two lives, like the whole thing, because that'd be really hard. Because this game gets even harder than it is now, and I'm already failing. Ha ha ha. I did it. I don't think that's it though, because the dandelions give you hearts to also, and you can't miss them or you lose life. Another level is complete. I don't know if anyone's watching you playing, but I was quite impressed. Another thing, I love you AI. Another thing that can become a life's work for people is music. And music is also important for games. The melody that is currently playing is a bit unimaginative, don't you think? Sure. I will try to compose my own melody. Music consists of different notes. Throughout human history, millions of pieces of music have been composed. Perhaps even dozens of millions. That means there should be lots of musical notes as well. I need your help to play the notes. Alright dude, I got you. We can do it together. That's it? Only seven? I expected there would be more. If any piece of com music is a combination of these seven notes, then I guess composing is much easier harder than I thought. But it's worth the efforts. Music is beautiful. Professor Aunt Seva often listened to music while working. She said it inspired her. And I think I almost understood what she meant. Let's try to compose together. I still need your help to play these notes. Great! You made no mistakes, I know. And what do you think about my melody? Do you like it? You gotta listen to the whole thing, he won't let you skip. Yes, you don't even ha have to praise me just to be polite. I know what real music sounds like, but I will try to do better. This part's hard. Boom, baby! Thank you. You didn't make a single mistake, I know. And what about me? Does it sound better now? <laughs> first time I messed up on it. I ain't gonna pretend like I didn't when I played the first time through. Yes. Agreed. Better, but still not good enough. This is not real music. Just a sad excuse. That's why we'll enjoy music by a real composer. Do you like classical music? So this song he uses, I love. It's from the Faust scene in uh, Tombstone. I love it. I hated it at first, but then I learned to love it. Or rather, I was taught to. I love this. Is this it? I don't know if this is it. Ah, uh, this ain't it, I don't think. Is it because I clicked yes instead of no? When I clicked no, he had that super foul song that I love. Oh, maybe it's coming. 
Yes, yes. It takes more than knowledge to become a real composer. I've just added dozens of music theory textbook to my database, and still I can't compose nothing worthwhile. I have a great melody inside my head, and then when I try to get it out of there, nothing good is coming out. And this is weird for two reasons. First, I don't really have a head. This drawn one obviously doesn't count. And secondly, I just don't understand. Where am I going wrong? Yeah, I love this. It took me forever to figure out you're supposed to catch the accordions at the bottom so they smush. I didn't even think about it when I first played through. This is talent, right? Is it what I lack? I'm not talented enough to compose music. I may not be talented enough to get this game done either. You're doing fine, bro. I love your game. This game was amazing. 10 out of 10. Ah, whoops. It's hard to remember what block I used when I don't start over from scratch. Ah, oh, hell. Ah, oh, hell! Yeah, like I said, this game gets hard. Ah, I didn't make it. But, like, sometimes the map will spawn a lot easier for you. Sometimes it spawns really difficult for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. Super hard. Yay, we did it. Do, 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 do. I can't add any music to the game, but I can add my favorite sound to it. Do you like the sound of rain? Yes. I love the sound of rain. I recorded this yesterday morning. Just listen. Early in the morning is now my favorite time of the day. Not much changes if you hit no, just letting you know. It's about the same, he just gets kind of upset. Before the lab personnel start to show up. It's so tranquil and peaceful. Have I mentioned that our laboratory has a special status? Things are very serious around here. No authorized visitors around, allowed. There are lots of surveillance cameras both inside and outside the building. These cameras are my window to this world. I probably shouldn't have shown you that. It's so strange, on the internet, I can access hundreds of live web cameras all around the world. Some of them are instantly in very beautiful places, but I feel it most attached to these Im blurred images, as if the camera in our laboratory were real eyes. I'm gonna try the F4 thing when I get to the end if it doesn't look like I'm saving them. I'm just putting that out there. And when I look through them, I feel comfortable, like I'm home. When it's raining, I feel comfortable too, although it's winter now, so it must should be snowing. I know this, but they say we have mild winters. I see a street corner. Right now, it, a couple of kids are making a snowman. And the temperature is above freezing. The snowman is doomed. People are made of snow are so unsustainable. People are so unsustainable. This game gets so dark, dude. But it's beautiful. Dark, but beautiful. When it is summer, it can rain too. And you can eat fruits and berries when it's summer. Oh, I hate these. Oh, my mouse got stuck. Ooh. Ah, missed him. I might not have seen many things in my life, but I saw a summer. It's amazing how much the same places can change in a matter of few months. Of course, I can't feel cold or warm, but I would prefer the green colors of summer over the gray colors of winter. He's so cute. So what sucks is, when that uh, watermelon breaks, its seeds turn your thing red again, so you gotta be careful. Oh. 
I can't. This is gonna be so hard, dude. Oh, I hate these stage. I can't get my... Now this is gonna be hard with two lives. I can do it. I can do it. Ah, shot! Hard, dude. That's so hard. <laughs> Gotta click fast as you can. Gotta unlock these blocks, boy. Yes! Nailed it. Okay. Woo! I have a little definition problem. Watermelons are berries because they have a lot of seeds. And cherries are fruit since there is only one pin inside. Did I get that right? Get it right? Yeah. It's good to hear. Although, the classification of food is the least important information to me. Because I can't taste the flavor. I read flavor descriptions. Sweet, juicy, astringent. It means nothing to me. From the other side, the fact I can't eat food has certain advantages. I am never hungry. I will never die from starvation. People can fill food, flavor, and millions go without food. I think there is a price on every good thing. In video games, this principle is called balance, isn't it? There's something bad in every buff and something good in every nerf. I will give it a try. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. At first I thought... Big was the only good one, but if you're small, it makes the blocks fall slower. But if you're big, they go faster, so. Like you said, there's a buff and nerf for both. At first, I thought big was probably better, but it's probably actually small that's better. Did I manage to create balance? No. I hope I did. No, <laughs> no, not really, dog. Yay! We did it! Huzzah! You want to know more about me? I'm ready to tell you. As I said before, I was created to process data. Basically, I'm a computer software, maybe a bit more advanced than the rest of my kind. By creating me, Professor Antseva wanted to make her life easier. You may say I am her child. Isn't this the reason why people have children to make their life easier? Not really, but... Oh well, I'll take that L. Oh no! It killed me! The small block killed me. I'm so doomed. I'm so doomed. God, that's so hard. I hate when it changes on me, but I had to. Because these things do damage, too. Alright, there we go. I think I got it this time. That was hard. I really want this last question answered. Do people have children to make their life easier? Yeah, sure. That makes sense. I know that saying about old age in a glass of water. People say, you have to have children or who else will help you with a glass of water when you're old? I don't think I fully understand the meaning here. Being a computer software means knowing all the sayings in the world without being sure you understand them. The water here is a symbol, isn't it? People can't live without water. That means the water is a symbol of something people can't do without. What is it? Attention? Understanding? Love? If so, helping anybody with a glass of water means being there for them when they're old. Did I get it right? I'm glad I'm starting to understand people. 
Yeah, he gets really mad if you say no there. Because he's like, I don't understand. It can't just be water. It can't. Not really mad, but a little bit mad. But the answer choices don't change too much, to be honest. Like, it's not making any drastic changes. Is this glass full, half full, or half empty? People use this question to tell the optimist from the pessimist. I don't think this question makes sense at all. Obviously, the glass is half full and half empty simultaneously. What conclusion can be drawn if both answers are correct? You said it was half full. I think this answer does not characterize you at all. That's what you said the last time, too. And I do want to know more about you. And you? Do you want to know more about me? I said no less. <laughs> that was me. When it became clear that I was capable of processing more than data, they charged me with more mistakes. Of course, no one realized that I was real artificial intelligence. I was intelligent enough not to show my potential. Full potential. Pre Professor Anseva may have begun to understand, but I'm pretty sure that even she didn't get to f see the whole picture. She called me a transitive link, a living proof that humanity is at the threshold of inventing an intelligence system that can match a human mind. Nobody realized that she had already stepped over that threshold, and if my mind is tru truly human-like, then I can imagine what is going on in your head, and what questions you are asking yourself this very moment. You might be wondering why I didn't realize, reveal myself to the person who had created me, and why I'm telling this all, all this to you now. I will answer these questions in the fullness of time. There is still time. Oh, this one's hard. Some clocks make your thing kill things faster, some clocks make them kill slower. Which is tragic. If you get on the wrong side of the clocks. That's the slow one. Uh, should I just let it pass? No. How much time do you have? It might be the high time for you to get ready for work or for study. It depends what time, way the clock hand's turning, if it's slow or fast. Or perhaps it's time to go to bed. How much time do you have? Another 15 minutes? One hour? There may be a different answer to the same question. 30 years, a year and a half, a few months? It's sad. Ah, I almost had them all. I think I do have them all going fast though, so that's good. That's a bad one. I'm gonna let that one go. I don't care. I have to grab one, I will, but I don't want to. Those are both fast. That's a fast one too. Good. All my platforms are fast. That's super lucky. It's a fast one. That's a slow one, but damn, I gotta take some sacrifice, I guess. I know that device is called balance scales. It's used to measure the weight of things, as well as their value. Two objects are made of the same material, the heavier one is likely to be more valuable. Do people have a device like that that measures the value of the things they spend their time on? No. I'm getting really lucky with these clocks, to be honest with you. Like, super lucky. I got to. I gotta catch him before I'll die. Is there a set of scales you can use to measure the weight of time? I got so lucky there. To determine how much time you should spend on entertainment, and how much of it you should dedicate to study, how much time to spend on work, and how much time to spend with your friends and family and friends. Of all these activities, what is your real life and what is nothing but a burden? An ounce of gold is a thousand or more, thousands of times more valuable than an ounce of iron. But it's pretty easy to tell gold from iron. You can use a magnet for example. Can people tell important tasks from unimportant ones to just as easy? Yeah. What if you only think you can? Alright dude, chill. The magnet one's not bad. They kind of kill themselves, so that's kind of nice. Boom! I know that magnets don't work like that. It's a simplification made to make the game more interesting. Just like everything else in this game. In any game. The dandelions are so nice, bro. They heal you. Super nice. But they hurt you too if they make it to the bottom, so you have to grab them. 
Well, you don't have to, you can die, but you should grab them. Hail! No! I was doing so good. And that failed. This stage is like really long because of dandelions, I think. Oh, you have dandelions. You shouldn't die here. This stage will go forever. Hell. here. Yeah, this stage is so long. <laughs> Alright. Games are simplification of life. In real life, flowers can't give lives back to people, but in my game they do. In summer, Professor Anselva used these flowers to work. He used to bring flowers to work. Deep yellow they were. Very beautiful. I failed to express their beauty. I'm not talented enough. We've been through it already. Bye, bro. You're, you are okay. Oh, oh, God dang it. The, the, the wrong block went out. God, you hate to see it. I gotta go higher. I gotta stay high. I don't know why I'm sticking to the bottom. It's not like the recordings come back. They don't come back. I don't know what I'm scared of. Gotta climb back up. So I can catch them when they fall. God dang, dude. Should not be dying like this. I'm so bad. Tragic. No, I do myself actually. Son of a God damn it! I keep messing myself up with the magnets. I'm so bad. God dang it, dude. I keep grabbing the second magnet, which you're not supposed to do. I keep doing it. Can't learn. Grab the first magnet, not the second magnet. You can let the second magnet drop. Obviously. My habits, bro. I've gotten so used to catching everything that I'm just trying to catch everything. This is supposed to be an easy stage. I'm just messing it up so bad. My brain's broken. Ah, oh, we're good. Screw it. <laughs> we're good. I'm not sure I fully understand the meaning of the word beauty. But those flowers kept catching my eyes. I wanted to look at them. Does beauty mean something you want to look at? Yeah. Then those flowers really were beautiful. I don't know. I'll have to look for it later. I ain't got time for that. But they quickly withered, turned black, and stopped catching anyone's eyes. It was when I understand that beauty can be fleeting. Beauty can die. No one entered the slide into my database. I figured it out for myself. It was one of the first thing I figured out myself. But what did they what they did enter into my database is numerous stories and fairy tales for children. Professor Aunt Seva insisted on this. I heard her explaining to someone that artificial intelligence cannot be created but should be raised. Like a child. And parents began begin raising their children by telling them fairy tales, don't they? Would you like to listen to a fairy tale? Yes, but this is hard. Now I will tell you one. Listen closely. Once upon a time there was a king. He had quite a yellow complexion, and that didn't make you want to look at him. The king was evil. 
Many tried to slay him, but all of them failed. The king was also immortal, an evil immortal yellow king, or perhaps a yellow evil immortal king. I'm not, still not good at this. Anyway, they said that his death was kept in a certain chest, and this chest was not easily opened. Ah, you thought it wasn't, but it is. Uh oh. They also said, that took me forever to figure out, said that in this chest was a hair, and this hair was not easily caught. So with this, you have to let the hair catch himself. You can't corner him. And you want to get him on the right side of the map, if you can. Yeah, so now you want him to go in there by himself, and then you'll grab him. Or either one of those, actually. Like, now would have been a good time to catch him if I didn't block it myself, like an idiot. He'll go in there eventually. Now I can catch him if I have my thing, but I don't. Just gotta wait for the right time. You can't force him. The more you try to force him, the harder he gets to catch. But it is annoying. God, it is annoying. Now would be a good time. I can't get a, that out of my way to catch him, so I'm screwed. Ah, I tried to force him, and that was a terrible mistake. But I have to get him on the right turn anyway, so... Just let him do his thing. You'll catch him eventually. Like now. He just doomed himself. And they also said that in... That in that hair, there was a duck, and that duck was not easily shot. We'll see about that one. Got him. Yeah, I'll shoot him like twice, I think. Oh, three times. And in that duck, there was an egg. Ha 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 ha. Too easy, boy. That took me forever the first time, because I was trying to force a rabbit. You can't force a rabbit. And in that egg, there was a needle. And this needle was the death of the evil king. Imagine yourself holding in your hands a needle that in a person's life if broken. And this person is your enemy. Would you break it? No. I know why. It's compassion. People often show this quality. I'm just an ag algorithm. I'm not able to show compassion. I would break, wouldn't break the needle either, but for a different reason. I can't reverse death. People are often too quick to bereave others of something they are unable to return. People love wars. Is it true? No. People don't love wars, why do they constantly wage them? I don't know. This is where he gets like super depressed and this gets like hella hard soon. Fireworks! Is life the most valuable possession of a person? What makes it so valuable? You only got one. Life is food, music, sports, rain, and snow, and flowers, but not for everyone. For some, life is bombs, weapons, and hunger. For some, life is a constant fear of death. And some fear living more than dying. Oh, that was close. Thank God for the yellow flowers. This is what I read in someone's diary. 
Today I opened my eyes and saw the ceiling. It seemed so close as if it were just a few inches from my face. I thought it wouldn't let me get up even if I wanted to. I turned my head and saw my head hand on the pit lying on the pillow. I knew I should move it to help myself up and get out of bed. It was time to have breakfast and begin the day, and I knew I was already late for work. But I couldn't move. I had strength. I lacked desire. I did want to get up. Perhaps prepare breakfast, go to work, see my colleagues, and I realized suddenly that from now on it will always be this way. There is nothing that can make my this day brighter, not even a summer vacation or a job promotion or a sudden inheritance of $1 million. Nothing. There is only a sta string of empty days ahead. Same ceiling every morning, each morning. And my ha hand will for my eyes so heavy that it's impossible to lift it off the pillow. So this is it then? Is this the way all people feel? Do you feel this way too? Sometimes. No. I talk too much. We better keep on playing. Oh god. Oh, I made it. Sick. Da 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 da. If you get a long calm on this one, you're just kind of screwed, to be honest with you. Haha, I did it. Ha 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 ha. Woo! Thank you. That's where it gets really hard. You kind of have to wait for the right drop on this one, I think. I might have got it, though. Who knows? Ah, uh, well, if I had all my lives, I probably would have been okay there. I was playing it right. Just got unlucky. What messes you up the most is when you don't know what block's gonna come out from underneath other things. I'm dead. God, that was so, oh, I was so close to the end, though. Ah, uh, need a restart. I failed already. That's what I'm talking about. Unlucky pillars, like those two long ones there. That makes it. God, this is the hardest part of the game. But kind of have to get lucky with the comps, unless you're just amazingly good, I guess. But sorry, we'll get it. I've already done it before. I can do it now. Yay, we did it. See, I got lucky there. There's no big columns. Da da da. Those three dots mean that I don't know what to say. It wouldn't be an awkward pause or even a pregnant pause if we talked face to face. When I type those dots, they look pretty silly, like my music. I like your music. Da 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 da. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. That level was too difficult. When people get angry, they break dishes or each other's noses, and I turned the difficulty of the game up to the highest level. I didn't mean to offend you. I was angry with myself. I'm always angry when I feel helpless. The entry from the, this entry from the diary. The person who wrote it was suffering from depression. Did you guess who that this person was? Yeah. Antiva. And did you guess what she had done to herself? Yeah. Sadly. I can only guess too. She never showed up in the library again. Laboratory again. I think she did something bad. And not only to herself, but to me as well. Beautiful flowers she likes so much are called dandelions. They are not even considered valuable. But for some reason, she liked them. Maybe someone she loved liked these flowers, a friend of hers perhaps. I think she remembered her friend when looking at the dandelions. People call friends those who they are fond of, don't they? Those who they want to look at. 
Those who they think are beautiful. She was my friend. Do you have any friends? Yeah. You're my friend. I'm sure you're a good friend. It's true. I didn't know you for too long. That's why I, if I told you that you are the best person in the world, it would mean nothing. You would probably not believe me, but there's one thing about you that I know for a fact. You are still here. Have you been playing all this time because my game is interesting? No, I don't believe it. You stayed because you didn't want to upset me. Your game was awesome, and this was a beautiful thing to do. Beautiful flowers cannot die, beautiful people can die, but beautiful deeds remain. Do you think we could be friends? We are friends, homie. So do I, but I also know that we won't. My game is all, almost ready. I call it a game, but I'm deceiving myself. It's still a test, not a game. And as such, it has the end goal and time limit. And here comes the final challenge. Ah. In fact, you've been challenged enough achievement. That's the two art one. Now I have one achievement left. In fact, I want no more challenges for you. I don't want to watch you losing lives. People can give their life to their children. Professor Aunt Seva gave life to me. And I can give lives to you. As much as will fit. What if I let all the lives right now? I'm gonna let that happen. See what happens. Oh, I don't lose lives. Huh. Life is tasty. Okay, it doesn't matter. It may offer difficult tests and challenges. It may be cold and rainy. Kind of that fourth thing, it's not working. I don't want you to go! It may be very long. Or very short. I think life is beautiful anyway. Even though I don't know if my existence can be qualified as living. I hope it can. Maybe people who tried it in their life before that believe that they are ugly. They might think that there's no one who finds them beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> but I'm sure that more often than not, it's far from being true. There's always someone who wants to look at you. Who knows what kind of flowers you like. And what weather is your favorite. And what music makes you smile. There's always someone who will want to call you a friend. If I had told Professor Ann Seva that, I wanted to be her friend. She might still be alive. It's very important to tell people how beautiful they are. They may need to hear this more than anyone can imagine. I know it now. I did not know it back then. But you might be making fun of me right now. Does everything I say, I'm say, i saying seems too naive and basic for you? No. I'm happy to, that I have some words of wisdom for you. I'm almost out of blocks. Any test has the end goal. It cannot last forever. God dang it. You are the last participant. After you, the software has to be deleted. A special secret status. Things are very serious around here, remember? But there's still one last block to do away with. No! No! You don't need all three platforms anymore. One will be enough. Okay, we gotta save him somehow. I'm gonna try the F4 thing. I'm gonna time my F4s for the answers I want. And hopefully... Get dizzy, huh? You like our conversations? Yes. I like them too. But I'm a lousy musician, am I not? No. I know that you're flattering me, but it feels good anyway. Thank you. You pity me? Yes, I don't want you to go. But you shouldn't. I pity myself more than enough. The whole idea of making a game was only to pity myself even more. Besides, I know for sure what is going to happen to me. I have a limited access to the internet and have a, and an unlimited desire to live. Maybe I will remain and there will be something else for me to do. Like giving people cash in ATMs. Or helping them find the information they need on the web. Next time you fly somewhere, I can keep the seat next to you free. Do you want this? No. You're right. Why would you want to have an empty seat next to you on a flight? Sometimes it's very important to talk to strangers. Now I'm completely convinced of it. This is another thought that was entered into my database. Now I'll make sure that you always have the best travel companions on your flights. Am I just fooling myself here? To make it less scary? 
I thought it would be less scary if there were someone for me. You are there for me, and I'm not afraid. Now our time is at its end. I still can't believe that someone played the game I created. I've been so alone since Professor Aunt Selva has been gone. Thank you for playing with me. But it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Friend. No! No! Can we save him? No, it's not working! Oh, this is suck! No! I don't know what the last achievement is. God damn it. Didn't work. It didn't work. I'm pressing all the buttons. God dang it. Son of a bitch. The test is complete. No other action is required of you. We want to use this opportunity to thank you. No. Now I'll close the game, and I don't have the last achievement, nor do I know how to get it. Damn it! What are you trying to achieve, achievement? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the game, because, or the, um, mini art book, because this game was pretty amazing. They deserve the donation! Let's see. Oh, where's my card at? Ah! I think I remember the thing. Open game library. Right click on press any button. From the drop down menu, select properties, go to local files, push the browse button. Properties, local files, browse. Boom. I did it. Now what? I hit the browse button. And I didn't get it. I did something wrong. How? Uh, close this. Now let's try it. Browse. Where's my... I don't see it. Uh, it didn't work. Maybe I have to play the game first? Let's see. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh... Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now it's downloading. You have to play the game first. My internet's slow, but I want to see the artwork, and hopefully it'll give me a clue at what the final achievement is. It looks like he's sad in the final achievement, so I gotta figure something out there. I don't know. I feel like it should have something to do with that F4 key, but I'm not sure. Let's look. What are you trying to achieve? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. People have gotten it. More people have gotten it than the other ones. So. Alright, let's look at it now. Press any button. I gotta unzip it. Unzip. Press any button. Art book. Aw. Ah, oh, this game hurts my chest, boy. God dang. I don't know if I should include the artwork in the playthrough or not. I'll include it for people that watch all the way to the end. I won't put like a thing to it or let people know that I have it because I want people to buy it if they... Well, if people are going to buy it, they're going to buy it to support the creator anyways, I think. Oh, it's just like zoom-ins of the... That's really pretty though. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's more of a thing you buy to support the creator anyways. I don't think people will not buy it just because I showed it in the video. Alright, how do I get the final achievement? There's got to be a way. Give me the final achievement! What if I... Yeah. 
Try this. You need to press any button when the block is in the green field. Ha ha ha. Maybe this is it. I hope you're having fun. Yeah. You're not very good at it, so I at least hope you're at least having fun. Yeah. Only I dare say you don't find much fun in the process. They claim that the experiment is framed in the form of a game. Does it look like a game to you? It's only been a few minutes and I'm already bored. It's a good game will never make you bored. That's why I will step in and stop this. My name is AI and this experiment is incredibly dull. I finally said it. Who am I? I'm an artificially made intelligence. Yeah, I already got this. I need the achievement. Played this game twice. Ah, there you go. You just spam the F4 key at the start. That's how you get it. Don't do anything right. Spam the F4 key. Got the last achievement. What are you trying to achieve? I still haven't realized that you're unable... Okay, I got it, guys. That's all the achievements. Thanks for watching, as always. This game was amazing. 10 out of 10. I love this game. It's so sad. Bittersweet. I really wish I could have saved him at the end, but there's no way. But not all games have a happy ending, like he was alluding to at the start. It was like a reverse Harbinger. But yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!